Woody Kincaid, bro. Second place at the 5K. You always have these moments, I feel like, where you where these crazy kicks come out of nowhere. Like, yeah. where do you go in your mind to pull that out? Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> I honestly just decide all right, it's time to go, and I just keep pouring it on. And I just, we actually had this discussion on our run the other day. We're like, where, like, how, why is it you fall off and then kick? And I think in like my whole life in workouts, I've already done stuff like that. I'll just like hold on, and then that last lap, I'll just go all in on, on a workout. So I don't know if I'd recommend that for people, but maybe that mental training is what's done it. I have no idea. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was just thinking like you're probably a lap to go. I'm like he's thinking about that tinker and how mad you were. Yeah. After that. Yeah. Talk about. I asked Grant about that too. Grant was upset he didn't get the win there. You were upset you didn't qualify. Yeah. Were y'all like, you know, did y'all both like connect with that fire and training over the next couple of weeks? Well, and <laughs> Grant and I are, are good buds, but like we both wanted a national title in the 5K. And I knew what Grant had to do to win. We both knew what Grant had to do to win. We're like if he goes at 1200 to go like he did in indoors, he had a good chance of doing it. If he made it and we brought it down to a kick, I had a good chance of doing it. So I think Grant, he, he played his cards right today and he did a good job. And I feel like this race like played out a lot different than like the trials last year same similar with like the heat but a little bit more s spread out throughout it too did that surprise you no i mean we had a game plan going in we we're like hey we're gonna make this an honest pace um evan just came off making the steeple team he's feeling high and he wants to help the team and thanks to evan he he kept the pace going and i think actually uh I don't know if it was Emmanuel Bohr or Shalimo, but they took it out hot and they wanted to do the same thing. Yeah. And then they decided, nah, we're not going to do that. And then Evan took over. So uh, it wasn't a huge punch in the gut or anything. I knew it was going to be hard. But uh, I mean, just because you know something's going to be hard doesn't mean it's going to be easier mentally or anything like that. Do you think going, doing like a harder effort in a race like that, does that better prepare you for Worlds being how fast the 5K and the 10K is right now? I like to think so. I mean, it definitely got us in better shape. But yeah. No, world could be. I mean, it's gonna be 100 degrees out here. World could be a could be a jog and then a sprint. You know, yeah. like we're, just because it's hot today and fast today doesn't mean it's gonna be that way. So, no so one knows. In between now and worlds, are y'all staying in Portland? You going back up to altitude? What's the next? What's the next? Uh, like two two weeks? Two yeah, weeks? I mean, it's like I told this in a couple of interviews already. Like after the trials last year, it's like we'd win this race and then we would fly straight back, or we we'd run a race and we fly straight back and it was like did that just happen because tomorrow night we'll be playing like a ton or something and yeah <laughs> just chilling <laughs> yeah exactly so it's just, just be back to what we've been doing the last few months and, and come back here and try and win some medals Woody Kincaid signature kick yeah can't wait to see you at Worlds man thanks man appreciate it